Hello everyone. Today I'd like to show you part 2 of how me and my friend Justin are making our 1600 watt solar panels. Okay, so we continued this project by cutting grooves in this PVC foam so we could later screw the collector onto it. Here we removed some of the insulation so we could hook the collector into the housing. So then it was time to degrease the collector with silicone remover and give it a nice coat of heat resistant black paint to maximize the energy absorption. Unfortunately, these spray cans are quite expensive and we used a lot of them on only one collector. So for the other one we used heat resistant paint from a can that was applied with a brush.
Here we added some sponge tape to the top of the housing to create a gap between the housing and the polycarbonate sheet. We used polycarbonate because it's much slighter than glass and it's more transparent and it doesn't break as easily as glass does. Then we put caulking in between the housing and the polycarbonate and gently pressed it down to make a perfect seal. So then it was home sweet home for the panel and there I made this pipe bracket to make it all nice and sturdy. Okay, so now I'm ventilating the solar panel with dry air. Here the hose of my compressor is going through this silica shell tube which absorbs the moisture from the air and it's going through this hose into this hole. And back there at the bottom there's also a hole where it vents out. I filled the compressor up with 50 liters of air at 10 bar and I completely let that flow through the panel so that the amount of moisture in the air inside the solar panel is much less and therefore the air can contain less energy and that way it loses less energy through convection inside the housing. So the air is now all flown through, so the compressor is now completely empty. So now we'll seal up the holes and then it's completely finished. To be able to adjust the angle of the panel, I made these wheel supports out of this very weather resistant wood. I'm not certain what type of wood it is. With these supports the panel can roll on my roof and against the wall, so I can easily adjust the angle. Then I glued them to the panel and you can see that this wheel, that will later be at the bottom, is a swivel wheel which I fixated with caulking. I needed a wheel that would stick out more, so the pipe bracket wouldn't touch the roof. That is why I chose this option. So then it was time to put it on the roof. I attached four of these stainless steel plates to the panel with caulking again to attach the panel to the wall. In the wall I drilled these chemical anchors and screwed on an eye knot. And then by varying the length of these straps I can adjust the angle. You can see here how the wheels are sticking out to create some roof clearance. For now I use these garden hoses to transport the liquid, which is antifreeze. I later want to use insulated pipe, but because we are probably going to move the hot tub to a different location in the garden, I will wait with using insulated pipe until that time. As you can see here, I also added an automatic air vent to get rid of air that accidentally got in when I filled it up. The whole system is under one bar of pressure to push the air out. And I did not yet include an expansion vessel because the volume of the liquid is not that large and the garden hose can handle the expansion because it has some flex. I first filled the whole system with tap water because the high pressure and therefore high flow prevents airlock. For more information about airlock I advise you to watch the video from Practical Engineering. I will put a link in the description. Then I pumped the antifreeze through and put the system under pressure with a bit of water from the mains. Here you can see the heat exchanger where the antifreeze flows through and at the other side the hot tub water is pumped through. And the mess that you see here will also be cleaned up when I move the hot tub. Okay, that's it for this video. When it's high summer I will do a follow-up video of how it performs. 
So until that time, thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram and see you next time.